In this video, I'll show you how to take your boring old room lighting and transform it into this. A scene set for a romantic evening full of lighting magic to help excite the senses. Computer, turn on studio. <gasps> Welcome everyone to the channel. If you're new here, this is where we explore the world of products for imagination. Art, decor, lighting, how to create a sense of mood and ambiance to ultimately bring your space into the future. Now today, let's just jump right in. We have a bit of a unique video. We're gonna be discussing, drum roll please, lighting tips, a lighting guide for setting the mood in a romantic context. Oh, maybe wow. it's a date night, maybe Valentine's Day is just around the corner, maybe you just wanna have a romantic evening with your partner, change things up a little bit. Creating a sense of mood with lighting is all about creating a juxtaposition between dark and light, essentially. Creating contrast. So we're gonna wanna start with a blank canvas, so to speak. And what I mean by a blank canvas is remove all the light. So shut off all the lights, and that's what I call starting with a blank canvas, all right? So once you've shut off all your lights, again, what we're trying to do here is we're gonna try to create mood through contrast. And we're gonna create that contrast by using light strategically. We're not gonna overpower, we're gonna keep it mostly a dim setting. And this is one of my personal favorite things to do in creating scenes for photography, music videos, backgrounds for my YouTube channel and a sense of lighting dictates mood. And that's largely what this channel is about, to be honest, is, is, is understanding light and the tools available to us and all the neat products that are available to help us achieve these, these moods. Today, specifically, we are going for a romantic context. So with all of that said, let's jump right in to our five tips. So now that you have a blank canvas, the first tip is going to be to use the lights that are available to you. And what I mean by that, I'm talking about floor lamps and table lamps. So we're gonna use this as our first primary source of lighting. And probably the most amount of light we're gonna add is probably gonna come from this source. So usually most people have a floor lamp or a some sort of table lamp. I would start with that. Even if you just have one, use that one, okay? If it's a colored RGB bulb, even better, you can experiment with that. But let's shut off all the lights and let's just start with a lamp of some sort. Okay, so the second tip is to get yourself some fairy lights. The reason they're called fairy lights is because they're very small little bulbs, very small sources of lights on a string. When you have a bunch of these together, they really do create a neat effect that can have sort of, for, for lack of a better term, sort of a magical feeling to them. Maybe that's where they get the term fairy lights, I don't know. We can also refer to them as string lights, that's fine too, but I found this really creates a nice vibe if we're going for like a romantic or, or just overall pretty evening uh, to use these sorts of lights. Now you can get them obviously as a string or you can get them in more of a curtain style. The ones I've picked today are more of that curtain style and I find that really has a nice effect, but I've provided links down below to both styles and we're gonna add that into our scene and you'll see how they really look and the impact they have. Okay, moving into tip number three now. This might seem like an obvious one, but they're forever popularized for a reason. We're talking about candles, or if you wanna bring it into the future, flameless candles, and they really do look like real candles, and they last a lot longer, they're a lot safer, and they really do help to add splashes of light here and there. As you have to remember, we're trying to create contrast through lighting. Today, I actually picked up some waterproof tea lights, those are also a type of flameless candle. So the really neat thing about that is you can integrate them into some sort of jacuzzi setting or if you're hot tubbing or you're in a bath setting, that can work too. That can have a really nice play to add that you know, to the water. They float, the particular ones I have. Again, links for that are in the description below. We've also explored the Aki light in a previous video. That's a really cool mood light that does float and is waterproof. 
waterproof. We've explored that. Maybe you want to think about picking up a couple of those. You can not only use that in water, but you can also add that to your scene or your setting in replacement of a candle. And that works really well. That can also do a variety of different, you know, uh, colors if you want to experiment with colors. Now moving on to tip trick number four, it is a star projector. Now star projectors, I personally love star projectors because they're just a small little unit, a small product, a small device that adds a whole ton of ambiance to a scene or a setting. And this is really gonna help to take it to the next level. If you wanna elevate that, put in that extra effort, your partner will appreciate it. If you wanna go the distance, you know, get yourself a star projector. I've reviewed a ton of these on the channel already. So, you know, you can check out some previous videos if you really wanna like dive into what star projector to get. But I've provided the links below to some popular star projectors. I really suggest these. They really have a cool overall unique vibe and create an elevated level of ambience. Okay, so my last tip here, now that we've set our scene, what's gonna go great with that star projector? You know, you wanna, you wanna really create this sort of like idealized moment with a star projector. Let's get a moon lamp, add in a moon lamp. I absolutely love moon lamps. There's a ton of different moon lamps you can get. You know, you can use this to add to a table setting, an end table perhaps, maybe a coffee table. You can use these moon lamps anywhere really and they, they provide a really soft lighting due to their shape. It's a spherical shape. So just in the shape of it, it's gonna like really throw this soft, beautiful light. And who doesn't love a moon lamp, right? They're just sort of a, a, an overall symbol associated with romance and magic and imagination, in, in my opinion. Like, I, I'm totally all about the moon lamps. There's touch moon lamps, there's RGB moon lamps, there's magnetic floating moon lamps. I've done reviews on different moon lamps before, but I've, again, all the links are in the descriptions to get your hands on some of this stuff. But those are five tips right there that really help to create a scene, and in this case, a romantic context, that will really help to elevate the mood and create that ambience that you're going for. Bonus tip, get yourself some rose petals. Garnish up your scene a little bit. You just dressed it with lighting, made it look nice, why not throw in the rose petals and really sell the job? Hell, add a bottle of champagne, a bottle of Merlot. Why not even grab a fake rose? I saw this excellent fake rose. The rose is considered somewhat of, you know, a symbol for love. So take that as you will. Maybe you want to throw that in there. That just about wraps us up for romance. I hope all these tips work out for you and you have a wonderful evening, whatever you're planning. You know, it's all about exciting the senses. So lighting is really an excellent way to do that. Try to get the other senses involved. Make it a sensuous experience. Put on some, some great relaxing lounge music or, or, or music that really induces an emotion for whatever feeling you're going for. Use that as a tool. Scented candles, perhaps, those can also help. So who knows, there's a bunch of things, but put in the effort, it'll go a long way. Hopefully you guys will find this guide helpful. I know it's a bit of a departure from our regular style videos, but hey, I hope it helps. I hope you enjoyed. That's all for today. Like I have mentioned, all the links and the full guide is in the description below for where to find this stuff. I ask if you like the channel concept, you use the affiliate links below to help support the channel. Please subscribe if you like the idea, products for imagination, art, decor, lighting, and how to take your space into the future through different lighting styles and design to create different feelings and moods depending on what you're going for. We'll cover it all on the channel. Future Space Collective, subscribe now, okay? All right, just do it, just just come on. Just, just hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, drop a comment for the algorithm. Uh, you know, do what you can. Do what you can. It's a community. I'm trying to grow a community here of like-minded people who want more of this kind of content. Cool, funky products, cool lighting, the whole bit. 